It's been asked of me quite a bit lately, hey Eric, it's cool that you have all this work and that you're doing good and, you know, we're happy for you, but how do you get those commercial snowplow accounts? How do you go about making contact with the right person uh, to submit a bid? How do you do that, Eric? Uh, let's talk about that. So put on your hard hats, because it's about to get real. But if you are new here, welcome. This is the North Country Outdoor Channel. I am Eric and you guys are the North Country Nation. Hit the subscribe button, jump on the North Country train with me. I'd love to have you. So let's get talking about how to go about getting commercial um, snowplow accounts. But this goes for really commercial work in general, uh, whatever trade that you're doing. It's gonna kind of be the same process. You're gonna to wanna to talk to the same people that are in charge um, of either interior maintenance for that company or exterior maintenance for that company. Alrighty guys, this is crazy. It is snowing super hard right now and I can't I can't see very good. Which is weird because there was really no snow projected to come tonight. What I'm doing right now is it was below zero for several days. And what happens is salt is ineffective during that time. You lay it down anyways for traction and you know, so people don't slip and fall, but it doesn't really melt anything. So over that time, you get a bunch of hard pack built up, usually a couple inches of um, really hard pack down on the asphalt. And basically it warmed up to like 31 degrees and that turns to slop and we have to go get it out of there before it refreezes and just makes life like really bad so that's what we're doing tonight we're out cleaning up slop but it's it's snowing pretty good here and it looks to me as I look at the Doppler that it's it's just getting here and it stretches all the way across Lake Michigan to Wisconsin, so I don't know what's going on with that. I wasn't expecting it. And I watched the news and I don't know. Unexpected snowstorm at 3.15 in the morning. So how do I get commercial plow accounts? Or commercial accounts in general? Well, in the beginning, it was uh, it was a lot of pound and pavement. Uh, you go to all these places, you call people, and you. The hardest part about it is is getting in contact with the guy and or lady. I'm just saying the person that you need to talk to is the hardest person to get in touch with. It's just you can never get in touch with that person. It's almost easier to just walk in there and say, hey. I need to know who's in charge and then they point you to where they're at and then you go talk to them and it's a simple question are you accepting snowplow bids for this upcoming snow removal season if it's yes cool you submit a bid if it's no well then you check them off your list and you move on and you know you can ask them well is somebody locked into a multi-year contract and if somebody is locked into a multi-year contract I would ask them when does that contract expire and will you be accepting bids at that time then I would go back to my notebook, I would write that in there. I take really specific notes when it comes to who's accepting bids and who is not. Now, this past year, I didn't really go looking for any work, nor did I last year. Uh, it just kind of fell into my lap. After you've been around for a while, uh, people know your name, your name is in the phone book, it's in the newspaper, it's on the radio, you you know, you got your Facebook page going, you got all this marketing and advertising stuff going on, and people start to see that name, and then people start to see, well that was annoying. People start to see, you know, your trucks around town, and then people start to talk, and they start to gossip, and then, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, but it doesn't really take that long to get your name out there. So basically, this past year, I had a couple places um, contact me, and I ended up getting that work, but I didn't go out looking for any work. My route's pretty full. Uh, it's just, it seems like every year we get a little bit more efficient and we get our route done a little bit faster, so that opens me up uh, a little bit of room to go ahead and take on some new accounts. In the beginning, it's tough because you don't know exactly what 
what you're doing, you know. And and it was a it was a tough deal for me to figure out because nobody nobody would tell me what the going rate is for a snowplow truck and a loader in my area. You have to figure it out on your own. Trial and error, hit and miss. So what you want to do if you don't have a mentor? Uh, and and that's kind of why I I started this whole thing because I want to give you guys. Hold on. Phone's ringing. It's dad. Oh, you ran out of fuel. Nice. All right, bye. The reason I started this channel, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have nobody to tell me nothing, and I want to help you guys. That's all I want to do is I want to help people succeed because it's really hard to just go out and do it like I did. I want to give you as many tips and tricks and... Oh man, you, you don't even understand, North Country Nation, how much I care about you and your family and your success. And look at this snow, holy cow, it is coming down. Uh, I just, I care and I wanna help. And the funny thing is, is my wife, uh, as of lately has been um, around while I'm editing my vlogs and she's been enjoying being a part of that so I, instead of putting in headphones I just let it come out the computer speakers and so she can hear it and I'll be honest there's some stuff that she makes me cut out because she says that is that is too much information Eric you, you shouldn't give that information out that is a secret that took you forever to, to figure out and Sometimes I agree with her that yes, uh, and, I, and I end up cutting it out, and sometimes I don't. I want to keep it in there because it was something that I feel like is really going to help somebody, whether it's controversial to to my customer that I have at the time or not. I am uh, this channel is for you guys. It's not for the customers. It's for the business owner. So that's just that's. I digress. That's how I feel about you guys. That's how I feel about the situation. I think everybody has it in them to accomplish great things, and I want to help you do that. So inevitably, in business, it's like anything else. It's a natural progression of business, just like there's a natural progression of life. You grow up, you become a teenager, you know, you become a young adult, you, you, you learn. Every day, every year, you learn. Inevitably, you're gonna get smarter, you're gonna learn. Now, I remember in the very beginning, I felt like there was so much to learn, there was so much to know, there was so many mistakes to be made, that it was absolutely overwhelming because you know when you're first starting out you're doing all the work by yourself you're doing all the book work by yourself you don't have a secretary you don't have a right hand man you don't have a backup truck you don't have a backup plow you don't have any of that so basically you get up every night and, and you pray that your truck starts and, and your plow works and, and you make it through the night because heaven forbid you break down and you only have one plow truck but guess what you have to start somewhere so don't be afraid to start your business with one plow truck because I thought you know one truck this sucks you know I'm, how am I ever gonna grow how am I ever gonna get what I need and then you know just a couple years later I got three trucks and I got a loader and I got you know I got a, a really nice salt spreader and I got everything that I need it's just it's amazing it's it's hard to to fathom the thought right now that someday you will know what you need to know you will learn what you need to learn and you will get where you want to go it just takes time you want to start a business if you want to get into an, a new adventure in life then i say go ahead and do it another phone call we shall resume this shortly what the hell man i'm trying to make a vlog okay i am back i had to take that phone call and i don't remember what i was talking about and it's the middle of the night it's four o'clock in the morning and I don't want to go back through the footage and rewatch it so I may end up repeating myself 
If I do, please forgive me. I can tell you that we are in the village of Harrietta, Michigan. Most of you probably don't know where that's at. If you're not from Michigan and you do know where Harrietta is, leave a comment below. That would be cool because it's a really small village. I'll just keep rambling a little bit and you guys will get to see how I plow. This right here, where I'm pulling up to, is the sidewalk. And no, I don't normally plow sidewalks like this, but this is the city's responsibility or the village's responsibility to do this sidewalk and they don't do it. So the police asked me if I would be a gem and clear that sidewalk off for them. And the deal was is yeah, I'll clear it off, but if I'm not charging any more money, I'm definitely not shoveling it. Same thing with this area right here. This is, this is city street but the city doesn't take care of it very good. And all the customers park right here. So I'm just kind of a nice guy and I'm, I'm only making a couple passes in here. It's not taking me that much more time and it puts me, uh, you know, in good graces. So back to um, what I was talking about before and getting these types of commercial snowplow accounts. It's tough in the beginning, it really is. But like I said before, growth is inevitable, you will get there, but the hardest thing is talking to the person that you need to talk to. Now the next hardest thing is, I hold the contract with a third party maintenance company. Same with Home Depot, same with Walgreens. I do have places that I hold the contract directly with them. Basically how I ended up with Walgreens was I used to have Office Max here in town, and then when they shut, when they shut the doors, uh, Walgreens opened up. And I'm one of the only contractors in my town that, re there's two houses right there, you can see them. They probably hate me because I'm here almost every single night. But it's gotta be done. Any anyway, yeah, uh, Walgreens opened up and they needed a plow guy. And uh, it's kind of nice being one of the only contractors in your town for a maintenance company because whenever something opens up, you're the one that gets the phone call. What do you guys want to hear about? Let me know in the comments because I'm telling you, I drive around all night, every night, and do this. And I got lots of uh, ideas and I want to hear your guys' ideas and I'm all about doing viewer requested videos, uh, anything you guys want to know about being in business, uh, just just ask me in the comments or email me and uh, I'll, I'll answer the questions the best I can. If I need to make a video, I'll make a video. But I want to start interacting with you guys a little bit more and I want to start uploading more often. Look at this, I get awfully close to these houses. So yeah, there's not really too much more to be said about about the whole getting uh, new accounts situation. You just, you gotta pound pavement, you gotta get out there, you gotta grind, you have to, you have to be passionate about it and you have to be confident. A lot of people think that I'm a, I'm an arrogant prick, but the, the reality is, is I'm just, I'm confident in my abilities as a business owner, as a husband, as a dad, I'm just a confident person. And uh, I, it took me a long time to become a confident person, but I think that being as confident as I am now has really contributed to my success in business. Because I found that when I'm not confident, I, I don't get as many tree jobs in the summertime. It's just you, you throw off a different vibe when you're confident and not confident. And you know, I've, I've literally gotten work just from my confidence and the way I talk and I know what I'm doing. And yeah, people, people don't like that sometimes. People make fun of me, Eric, you're an ass, you're this and that. But at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about what anybody else thinks. I'm here to support my family and I do a damn good job at it. So I'm doing a lot of backblading here because it's a really tight lot and it's a pain in the butt. Hopefully by the end of the winter, I'll have had the camera on the dash for every single one of my accounts for you guys so you can see what it's like. 
Well, I was getting ready to uh, edit today's vlog and I realized that I never filmed an ending to today's vlog. That's, that's how delusional you get in a plow truck after so many hours, but here I am now, rested, I had a nap, I'm in a great mood, and I was like, hey, I gotta go out to my wood pile and get some wood, and, and I'll just film the ending of the vlog there. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned something. If not, then my bad, and hopefully you learned something on the next video. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. Jump on the North Country train. Follow me on Snapchat. Here's a still image with my username. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, what is my Instagram? North Country Outdoor on Instagram. And uh, just remember, tomorrow is a new day. Be creative and own it. You are beautiful. You are amazing. I freaking love you, and I'll see you next time.